jerry cans yet no fire extinguishers hmm we'll have to fix we'll have to fix that i think i'm gonna ignore the jerry can for or the the diesel for now we know where we can get some fair amount up here and we got a couple of APCs in the area that's probably going to have plenty we know we've got uh yeah I'll hoof it down and grab that uh that four by four and bring it up here I'll grab a battery for that one I'd like to accumulate a few like I said a few junker vehicles in the area but first I think we're going to play dangerous and take a motorcycle ride down to this high value area See if we can get a good look in the museum. I'm not going to hit the doctor's office, but I am interested in the garage. Well, actually, I want to know what kind of doctor's office in the garage. We don't have any metalworking welding gear yet. Lots of libraries in the area. All right. I got plenty of carry capacity and we've got uh, the bike that can also hold stuff depending on how successful we are. It's going to be high density area is going to be the problem. So here's the benefit of the bike. There's no blocking spaces for zombies to worry about. So they can just walk right over it. So unlike a vehicle where they can't walk into it and tend to hit it to try to get through it or on it. Zombies will just walk right over motorcycles. So they don't usually mess with them. Which is nice. Uh, I'm going to drive. It's because we have such a good moon bonus without the headlights. I'm not sure if I... I think I'm lit up when I try the headlights. Let's find out. I need to know. I am... Yeah, lighting is only dark instead of very dark. So... We're not going to do that. Alright, so we're going to go... Basically, like so. That time of the month again. <laughs> hey, Terrinx. Thanks for the resub. Welcome to the party. Yeah, they're really hearing this motorcycle. <laughs> I'm not sure. Does this thing even have a muffler? Muffler half damaged. It's pretty loud. Whatever. Now nah, we're getting into the higher density. All right, so straight south to the second intersection if I can manage it. Waiting to get yanked off the bike right into a crowd. <laughs> Mobile meth lab. Oof, crowded. Yeah, <laughs> this is not good. Yeah, this is not good at all. Um, turning around is going to be a pain in the ass, too. Hmm. We've got a hunter in the area. Oh, is that another pool? <laughs> Empty commercial lot. That's actually helpful. So if we can get past this big crowd, I'll stop. We'll hop the fence, come across, and then I gotta try to sneak into the front. And we're gonna end up setting an alarm off, which will draw most of these guys. I think I might stop here. All right. So, as far as I know, there's no back way into a museum. And we're going to probably set an alarm off, which is going to draw all of these guys onto me with nowhere to go. That's pretty bad. Do I start killing stuff instead? I'm going to end up taking a lot of hits, incidental hits. 
I try to clear this. Verify first. Yep, it's locked. Hmm. Set the alarm off. These guys all come running. They're going to plug the doorway. Subway across the way. Hmm. Almost like to set this building on fire. All right, let's uh, let's try to clear the area a little bit. Let's try to play it a little safer. So we'll uh, we'll ditch the backpack. I'm gonna take. Damn it! Come here, zombie. Not a good start. Take some uh, preemptive codeine. Drop the backpack again. We're just going to try to clear enough of these out in a controlled fashion. And I'm not going to worry too much about getting swarmed. Those are the ones I mostly want to get rid of. All right, I think we've got it under control now. <laughs> So a little bit of light damage to various body parts. See how much comes running when we pop this door open. What do we got? Iron Shod Quarterstaff, Wakazashi, Bone Needle, and a Relic. So I don't think there's bad versions of the Quarterstaff. The Wakazashi, uh, that is the real one. That's the real Wakazashi. Yeah, that's what I figured I'd have to... I'm you, quarterstaff. Leather van braces. <laughs> Plate armor. <laughs> Leather boots. Chainmail. Legging. Oh, that's all the separate pieces, though. Hmm. Bar boot. Iron greaves. Like a full set of chain mail, just all separated out. Steel arm guards. Chainmail dog coat, leather dog harness. A lot of flashlights. Grab up some batteries. Oh, there is a back door. Well, please tell me. Nope. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> it's a budget steel katana. Almost got us a katana. And an dull scimitar.
10 encumbrance for 16 16 protection torso 95% that's pretty good yeah capital U the unload command Be a tiny bit cautious because I had a circumstance in a recent series where I did that and apparently I didn't have space I'm assuming in uh, in my various containers and it auto drops something very important <laughs> like a, a RivTech battle rifle it, it decided that that was what needed to be dropped in place so I could hold the battery but it didn't tell me anything about dropping it. It gave me no messages. It gave me no warnings. Nothing. It, uh, it put the battery in my inventory and it dropped out the battle rifle and I walked off without my battle rifle. I had to go back and watch the playback to uh, figure out just what happened to my battle rifle. <laughs> we had a problem with that a while back and I thought they had fixed all the instances of that happening. So, how do I know it's a low, low quality? Uh, when you look at it, the description will tell you and the material type will tell you. So if I, if I look at it right here, it says budget steel for the material. Anytime it says budget steel, you know it's the low quality version. Plus in the description here it says, while it's got the right edge and weight, the pommel just snaps off and the blade seems pretty worn. So between the description giving you a clue and the uh, the material type, you know that you've got the uh, the budget one or the poor quality one. Plus, the stats are not what I, I know are appropriate for a katana. So there's there's lots of ways once you know what to look for. Okay. Um, let's really jack up our, our torso encumbrance. So we're done in the back room. A pointy stick. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, stums! Oh, a few, few people have wandered in behind me. Bone punch chunk of steel. More opportunities. Broad sword made of aluminum. <laughs> a dull, cheaply made replica. That one, I believe, is correct. It's made out of bronze, though. 24 cut, 8 bash, high blocking. No, uh, no techniques, though, other than the high blocking. And the Wakazashi, another dull, cheap replica. Made of aluminum. Yuck. So many replicas. The throwing stick. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple of guys in here with me. Let's uh, stay down here for a minute, get my stamina back. Got me in my eyeballs. So, that is a true Wakazashi, though. Made of steel. So we're going to take the Wakazashi. 30 cut with rapid strike and high blocking ability. So, great against uh, non-armored foes. Terrible against guys with uh, decent armor. All right, no space for it. Um, so I'll have to come back and grab it when I ditch my, my axe. And then I got to figure out what we're going to do with the uh, all the armor choices. The Wakazashi and the quarterstaff are both really good. So let's figure this out first. Plate armor. The good old full suit of gothic plate, torso, arms, and legs. 
10 encumbrance, 95% coverage for 16, 16, 10. Um, so I am interested in it. Let's, uh, let's move it out to there. All right, we got everything in spot that I care about or I want to actually look at. Oh, I'm grabbing it because uh, I don't remember what ones I care about. Normally I get the fitted chainmail suit from the uh, mansion. And I know you can put together... I don't think I even have... That, yeah, that's the one there. So, got those. Vest, sleeves, and a gambeson we don't have. Or the hauberk. So that's unfortunate. So we don't quite have a, uh, what we need to slap together a full suit of chain mailer. Definitely switching out to the bar boot from the uh, the baseball helmet. Reason not to do that. Hello, bar boot. Oh yeah. I'm also trying to decide what would look most appropriate for our uh, our Judge Fred. Is Judge Fred a plate mail kind of guy, or is Judge Fred a chain mail kind of guy? <laughs> <clears throat> or just stick with the motorcycle armor. <laughs> Oops, what did I just do? Yeah, plate armor's pretty nifty. 16, 16. At 95%, only 10 encumbrance because it's fitted. It's the good stuff. Wow, I can wear so much of this stuff stacked even. It's funny. I can wear the motorcycle armor and the plate armor simultaneously, can I? Ah, they're different layers even. <laughs> Plate mail's outer layer. Oh yeah, you can wear them both. That's funny. Or without, I wear them both without conf conflicting, I mean. So then it's just pretty much down to, um... Uh, stamina. <laughs> so, torso, arms, and legs. Hands, feet are not covered. We got our head covered in the bar boot helm. Head, eyes, and mouth are all protected. Hands and feet are where we would get nickel and dime to get uh, to, 
to, to the damage. So the leather gloves. Um... Legs, arms, legs. No reason not to wear that. Other than pure weight. We'll run into a weight problem here pretty soon. We've only got eight strength and uh, rolling around in 50 pounds of armor is going to be an issue at some point. Thirty encumbrance. Ouch! That is a lot of hand encumbrance. Really annoying, you can't... <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright, so you can. It's just... Uh, the up, down... Greater than, lesser than, then instead of page up, page down. Well, hmm... And wear that. Alright, I think I'm going to take the arm guards with me. I might, might, if I can get to the point where I can refit the wear the chainmail gloves. Probably not, but. We'll take them. 10 encumbrance for 10 10. That with uh, some socks or some uh, fireproof coverings will get us to uh, our feet being fairly immune. back for the uh, overburdened am I what a surprise speed 78 They shouldn't be landing too many blows. <laughs> that actually penetrate for damage. That's all right. Uh, dump that. Those. Oh. 
I'll check for gear on the bodies here in a minute. Um, hey, you. The pretty outrageous hall at the museum. That's um, pretty crazy amount of good stuff. Now we've got bash, we've got cut, we've got bash and cut. <laughs> Not sure what I'm gonna what I'm gonna go with. What are we at skill wise? Oops, keep forgetting they moved it. So bash three, cut one, almost two. All right. We'll keep the Wakazashi in hand for the moment. Uh, don't worry. We'll get all this stuff back to base and then we'll we'll resort and reconfigure and all that. I'll have to keep an eye out and see if we can find uh find a cape and other accoutrement. Alright, what's on the gown on the ground? Oh so we got uh all inventory. Nine mil ammo. What else? Don't care. My brain's not wired to keep an eye out for capes. Are there capes? I don't remember seeing capes. Motorcycle boots. Touring suit. I want to see if we can get to the fire station and get a full set of the uh, fire uh, flame resistant gear for my close to the skin layer. The Book of Dances. Alright, not seeing anything I care about on the ground from the zombies. This is just the first stop. Trying to think of what getting we're getting some overlap. I think there's already a fix going in for this. Where it's overlapping. I remember seeing somebody talking about it. Alright, what are we at? 79 weight out of 99? That's carrying the crowbar for prying with the wakazashi for chopping. Food person? Yeah, that is right. Food person does have a cape. No cloaks. No capes. I'd have to hit a few uh, clothing stores or something. So, yay, good good place. Uh, I think I'll keep going down. We'll try the garage next. And we'll back out and come down this way. Kind of park over here if we can. Find a spot. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wanted to look at this. So, holy crap, is that a lot of armor. <laughs> that is so much. 4-8 bash cut protection at uh, 95 percent 16 16 so that's 20 24 protection also still 95 uh 36 40 <laughs> we're at 36 40 protection at 95 percent and that's individual 95 percent so they'd have to pass all three of them to get any damage on me 64 torso encumbrance and the hiking backpack still got a fair chance of getting shredded but still got to be cautious about dropping the backpack otherwise not much chance we're going to get any torso damage through um that is torso only torso arms torso arms legs so legs oh yeah i got too much crap on my legs time to get rid of the uh Plate armor alone is going to be going to cover us most of the time, but having a second to uh, absorb damage when it bypasses the 95% is good. 
Probably get rid of the long underwear and the jeans. Yeah, I'll get rid of both. How's the temperature? We're fine. Twenty six twenty six head protection. If it bypasses one, the other's gonna absorb ninety percent of the damage from regular zombies, so couldn't be taking any head hits or much. Eyes are protected. Oh yeah, I forgot I have the scarf going too. That's fine. Arms are in good shape between the two. Yeah, the gloves are my weak point. I need some good socks and I uh, need to get those chain gloves fixed up. Okay. Hey there, firemans. Which one did we get? Ooh, that's a good one. Messenger bag, bunch of uh, drinks. Incomplete motorcycle. Get back to the good area. Here comes the good area. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got welding tanks, acetylene torch, welding goggles. Definitely got to take the goggles. Take the torch and the tanks. All the welding gear I will need forever. Or, uh, six of them. <laughs> oh, man. 1.0 drives me nuts still. So much stuff. The old jerry can I also want. I already have the wrench, right? It's just the hacksaw that I'm missing, I think. More welding tanks. Lots more welding tanks. There's the arc welder. Alright, we're doing good. If I can just get a damn hacksaw. Jumper cables. <laughs> and another arc welder. Uh, I just need... I think I just need the one. I'm trying to remember the, uh, the sequence. I gotta get my mechanics up and then make the, uh, the vehicle welding rig. Alright, let's drop this into the vehicle, come back and grab the last couple of items. A little disappointed we didn't get a hacksaw. One jerry cans probably. Okay, well that was, other than the lack of a hacksaw, that was a, another bonanza of stuff. 
we've got everything we need to start working on the vehicles. We've got the acetylene torch with plenty of gas. we got the arc welders. Typically, I, uh, I go straight to the vehicle welding rig. Get a uh, solar car, too, brought over to where I, wherever I'm basing. Rip out the storage batteries, get them installed in the vehicle. Immediately install the uh, vehicle welding rig. And then I just do all the vehicle work off of the, uh, the vehicle welding rig. Super, super simple. So I think we're done here. I don't care about the docks office other than finding out what kind of an office it is. Not going north to that library. Or that library. We're gonna check that one out. Um, yeah. Whoa, zombie snapper. I kind of wanted to find out what kind of doctor's office this was, but... See if we can lead these guys away a little bit. Grabbers and a necro. <laughs> Been a little ugly out here. I do need to go south a bit. We're gonna get yanked off this bike by this grabber or grappler zombie. It's the upgraded. So this might get a little interesting. <laughs> we got knocked into the front when he grabbed me. Vehicle's probably still running. Run mode. Interesting. I can't I can't move back to the seat. My only option is to say yes to dive off the vehicle. <laughs> uh, Okie doke. Hiking backpack. All right, stamina. Oh, the necros in the area. Oh, you bastard necro! <laughs> I forgot about the necro. He's just hanging out over there, resin these guys. Um. Yeah, that's not good. He's going to get a bunch of these guys up while I go over and try to deal with him. Alright, now we're surrounded. <coughs> Out of stamina. Shouldn't have ran the whole way over there. I'm going to stay right where I'm at. This is going to be loud for a little bit <laughs> while I get my stamina back as they bash away at things. Regular antibiotics. Hey, fur cloak. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not wearing a fur cloak. It's too warm. 60 warmth. We'll have to find another solution. All right, 
I just need to get some stamina back. Whoa, all these zombies smash away here. All of this gear is going to make climbing drain pipes a no-go as well. Ooh, backpack's about to go poof. Damn it! That's <laughs> exactly what I was trying to avoid. And I betcha I won't have the skill to repair that. It's going to have a high fail chance until I raise my, my tailoring again. That sucks. I think I'm going to have to just drive straight back to the base. Sort this stuff out and then uh, make another run to get to those other buildings. It's going to take me so long to get my stamina back. Alright. Hold your, hold your ears. <laughs> this is going to get loud. Ah, oh, they broke through! I don't have any stamina yet. That's not good. I am definitely going to lose that backpack. I'm hoping he stays connected to the uh, to the back of the vehicle there. He was the one I was worried about. Can I get to the bike? All right, he stayed mostly where I needed him. I'm not gonna get to pulp all these guys either, unfortunately. God dang it! Stupid bike. Uh, come on, take control. Why is it <laughs> why is it set so fast? Uh-oh, now it stopped running. What do we break? No battery. Great. That's a problem. <laughs> do we not have an alternator? There is an alternator. But uh, we zeroed out the battery. The alternator, the, the battery itself is damaged, the alternator is damaged, and uh, we zeroed out the battery charge. That is not good. Not good. Hmm, that vehicle might drive. I've got to worry about the stuff following me. Nope, no gas. Get them moving through the wreckage to try to get to me. Once we get our stamina back, all all will be okay again. Oh, hey there, iBot. So we'll just go hang out right up here. We should be safe now. All right, we got our stamina back. Um, there was a battery, a motorcycle battery, <laughs> in the uh, in the the garage, but with no hacksaw. I'm not sure if it takes a hacksaw. Hmm. All right, let's let's do this. Get rid of the backpack so we don't lose it entirely. Let's go kill a few things. Starting with the dangerous one. Let's see if this guy... These guys are nasty. Let's see what happens here. I'm curious. Got me in the arm, did you? Ripped up my chaps. All right. I want to clear the things in the immediate area, pulp all this stuff. Allegan Bar! Here's the suit and the hood and the gas mask. So we're just missing one of the items. Look at 
all that gas. Again, no battery. The wheels. Zombie versus iBot. Okay. can do it. Alright, let's go back and get the, uh, the other... Oops. Upstairs. Unfortunately, nothing useful. One of those you can make a good base out of, though. You got the garage downstairs, you got the upper area where you could set up a workshop. You can uh, set up safe ways to drop off the roof, build a, a bridge across to the other roof, go down there. Hey, that's the auto dock one. So we got the we got the good doctor's office. Note. Auto dock. Just in case we ever get a chance to use it. Either the Zestaver, welcome. Yeah, those guys are pretty bad about that. Earplug. All right, so where did I see it? There it is. So, yeah, good good base location. Right, we got to look around a little bit because we got... Uh, we were in the upper floor of the building. What else did we find? Gas station, gas station. More libraries. More mill surplus. I already got that one. I guess since we're here. Eh, nobody's gonna hear me. Well, except for the alarm. <laughs> Good list of books. Moonshine? Moonshine at the doctor's office? Hmm. <laughs> Remember, is it the first responder I needed? I think it is. Yep. Cool. Now we can get healthcare up to the top. 
So, that's an awesome find. So, there's an auto dock. So, if we get in trouble, I uh, keep meaning to do a quick tip on the auto docks now because I think a lot of people don't know all the things it can do. So, splint broken limbs, and it gives you a two bar head start, two out of five completed already. Treat wounds, check radiation, conduct blood analyses, and if it detects that you're infected with, uh, or you've got the, uh, an infection, you can. Uh, Get injected with Destragon. Have your infection just about completely cured immediately. So, make sure if you're doing an infected start or you get an infection, you go straight for an auto dock if you have access to one. It is the new meta on how to, uh, how to solve that problem. Magic 8 Ball. Alright, and there's going to be another one right here. Hey, auto dock. I'll take the stethoscope. You can keep the anesthesia kit. And we can't get in there yet. So we don't worry about it. So yeah, it's a good, good spot. Perfect. Uh, exactly the kind of doctor's office I would hope for, as well as a great mechanics building that could uh, be a good base for us if we want to relocate down here. Still has some residential nearby we could use and puts us right in the middle of the uh, the good stuff building wise. Closer to the middle. Uh, this one we are going to be setting up a base because the goal is to uh, get ourselves uh, outfitted as uh, Judge Fred, which <laughs> we've made quite a bit of progress on with that one uh, that one museum, giving us uh, Wakazashi, Barboot Helm, Chainmail Armor, Plate Armor, and so on. So we've already got Motorcycle Armor. So we're we're pretty well accounted for uh, for armor and clothing, um, and we got a few other options. But uh, then another thing I need to do is set up a uh, Mega City motorcycle. So setting up in a garage might be the thing. Um, so I'm giving some pretty serious thought. Maybe we'll make this our base. Um, it's pretty solid all the way around. So I could uh, I could set the workshop up back here with park the vehicles in the bay, and um, and we'd have access to the auto dock if we needed it for whatever reason and so on. The auto dock is pretty awesome, so you want to make sure you take advantage of it, especially for infections. It gives you the strong antibiotic, which will just about immediately clear any infection you've got. Alright, let's see if we can get this fixed up. We got uh, enough light, I believe, to go ahead and get this done. Uh, the one on my person. There we go. We've got our battery power. What is wrong with the engine, by the way? Drive belt. Required? Oh, well, that's why. <laughs> that's why. Um, need one more point, of one more level of mechanics. So we're not going to get any charge on the battery because the drive belt's gone. I think there was a drive belt back in here as well. I want to say it's in those crates. If I'm remembering right. Drive belt. <laughs> we might be able to get it installed. I might wait until we get that next level of mechanics, though. That's high on my list now that we've got all this other stuff done. So, yeah. This is a pretty good opportunity spot. If I don't find something, I, I would like to try more than this. Puts us right in the center of uh, all the buildings that I would care about. Closer to the middle, which I like for just difficulty factors. Um, hey, look, we even have a park nearby that we can uh, be constantly bombarded with visiting zombie children. Yep, 
Yeah, I think I'll take the drive belt with me instead of trying to install it here. We'll get that second level mechanics. I don't want to run the risk of it uh, not working. I'd really like to keep the motorcycle running for now. We're going to build a new motorcycle from scratch. So this is just our temporary used to get around motorcycle. So we'll drop those in the back. And let's head home. No gear in the SWAT truck, unfortunately. Does give us uh, heavy-duty frames. So there's heavy-duty frames in here, which is nice. So we've got a local source for some of that. Truck with cargo spaces. Bus. I haven't seen that an armored car. I think that's the armored car. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no Mischief Maker mod in uh, Cataclysm. Let's go north here would be preferable. Oh, one of those snapper zombies. Oh, crap. This might get ugly. Ooh, we made it. <laughs> I'm surprised we made it through that. I need to get back over this way. Alright, this is the gun store I don't care about, so we should just need to go this away. And this away. And we are back home. Alright, 2% of our battery got used doing that. I got a clear route up to the stairs. There we go. Everything's unloaded. I think that's everything. Hacksaw, hacksaw. Still missing the hacksaw. So we still got one very, very important tool. I need the hacksaw. All right, so made it back. Uh, had a little bit of fun, a little bit of an adventure. <laughs> Just about got caught out, but um, amazing payoff for that one museum. I still can't believe how much stuff that one museum had. So now we've got some guns. I don't have a lot of ammo for them yet. We've got uh, lots of welding gas. We got the iron shod quarter staff to go along with our wakazashi and our fire axe. So we got some really good um, weapons that we can choose from. Almost all the basic tools that I look for. Um, a couple of the flame resistant pieces that I was hoping for. Gas mask, gotta get cleaned up. Doubt we're gonna use the quiver. I still haven't used my pristine clean roller blades. <laughs> gotta get on that too. And we've got tons of food and tons of books. All right, um, let's see here. 